Martin Rosa. <laughs> and I, I think I remember uh, Tantac was saying he would play Bayonetta in the first Bayonetta. game of every set. Okay. So we might see uh, Corn versus Bayonetta already. All right. So I've been called. I'm going to have to play my set. But uh, best of luck. Ooh, I should get I should get show on commentary. Yeah. I'm gonna call it. Get up here, come for commentary for me. Tell him, tell him not to tell him not to ditch me. I don't know how to commentate about it. Right, so getting right into it, we got Corin versus Bayonetta. Battle of the DLCs. And this is a real game or a button check? Okay, it looks like a real game. And good side B by uh, Corin. So, as far as I don't really know anything about these two characters, you're going to have to... I know everything about these two characters. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. going to have to give me some of your knowledge. Okay. I don't hear any game sound, do you? No. Okay, that's a problem. Let me see if we can fix that. Uh, mm. Interesting. Okay, anyways, um, let's right. talk about the match here. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Corrin is a really good counter to Bayonetta. Yeah, and as you say that, it looks like Bayonetta is having a lot of trouble getting in. It's because really, uh, I mean, look at Bayonetta. She's really slow. She doesn't have a fast movement range, speed or an aerial speed. Nor is her range, like, impressive at all. Yeah, it, because of that, because of her speed being really slow in comparison to Corrin, it's really hard for her to get the right spacing that she needs to compete in neutral. Oh, this should be... No. Another up air? Oh, no. Oh, he, he flubbed that. He should have... Uh, landed an up smash, maybe. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, he, he was too high for the up smash. Uh, he should have he should have up aired. But um, I think he went for an up B instead, which up is air? kind of a weird Ooh. decision. Anyways, um, yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, it's it's tough for Bayonetta to actually find a, a safe means Ooh. to compete in neutral. And that up throw will kill at 150. She has to commit a lot against uh, against Corrin. So uh, basically making guesses and uh, mm -hmm. going for reads as a means to approach. Like basically what Tantaco there he was doing, he was running up and trying to see how Shinoa reacted. And like y when you're trying to make those decisions and and you're going for those kind of those plays, you're you're taking big risks because you're you know you're not playing safe. <laughs> Goes for that dare spike, doesn't quite get it. I don't know if it spikes. <laughs> it spikes, but it's a, it's a weak spike too, and it's okay. a suicidal spike. So, but uh, Bane ended up not having a great horizontal recovery though, so it could have probably would have killed. She does have a horizontal, but it's very linear. Sorry, not horizontal, vertical. <laughs> or actually, your vertical is great too. Yeah? It, but she. Yeah. She needs her double jump. If yeah, she doesn't she have that, it, it's it's reduced by two thirds, because not only can she not double jump, she can't get the second up B. And it, it just seems so hard to edge guard uh, Corin with that uh, side B mix up. Yeah. Ooh, catches catches Bayonetta with uh, catches oh. Tantaka with the tipper, angled upwards forward smash, and that'll be the stock. All right. Uh, let me see if I can get the sound working for you guys. Um, and are we gonna see a? Uh, we might see a switch from Tantaco. Did say he would go first game bane. Uh, fought 200 battles. Congratulations. Interesting. Uh, I, th I don't think it's my Wii U, actually. So, Oh, okay. I see what, what happened. It's in the video. And we will get sound. One. Yep. There we go. It sounds like on. One ban. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't, I didn't actually know we didn't have any sound that whole time. Alright, so we should be good now. We will see a sh uh, s switch to Sheik. And yeah, so Shinoa taking that game. So if... If Corrin beats uh, Bayna, how do you think Corrin fares against Sheik? Um, well, it's different with Sheik because Sheik doesn't Ooh. need to uh, approach the same way that Bayonetta does. A lot less committal. It's Yeah, a lot less committal. She has a fair and that fair can be used in neutral. So Ooh. she has at least one decent tool. Bayonetta has none. <laughs> Strong stage control by uh, Tantaco preventing uh, Shino really from getting back on the stage. Oh, what a F smash will give him that control. <laughs> Another down air. Interesting decisions getting punished by Tantaco. 
I feel like Corn is a character that you really need to learn how to adjust to to play in the neutral because yeah, like, it, she's so awkward. Yeah, like, the B side is weird. You can get random F smashed from a mile away. Yeah, like you don't expect the claw to come at you after you dodge Ooh. the projectile. You're like, oh, that's a thing. And then you, then you just Ooh. bite the dust. Like that. And that right? is a beastie forward smash. And as uh, Tentacle was trying to retreat, he actually got caught. I mean, okay, Corrin has great range, but what makes her scary is her speed as well with that range. She is very fast. Yeah. So when you're fast and have range, you can extend that range like instantly. And I've seen I've seen Corrin do fair combos just as well as she has, does. Fair to fair to fair to fair. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, very um, at low to mid percent. She's very juggly, like she can juggle a lot. Her upper is her probably main priority to, to get a kill. And Shino trying to drop to the ledge, missing it a little bit though. That B side is so weird. I don't know, I don't really know what to do, but what to think about it. And yeah, look, see, if, if she whiffs uh, fair, then you're just going to lose your trade. Or even if they clash, I'm sure Corrin does much more. It does more, and I think it has a competing range. It might be, it might outrange Sheik's fair. Ooh, I don't know what smash that was, but it could have killed maybe. Yeah, now Tentacle having a difficult time here just uh, closing off the stock because he is at a huge deficit, so he's going to have to play very safely, and I don't agree with him actually going in at the moment. I, he think, should, I think he should be needle camping. He should, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he should be racking up as much damage as he can without taking any risks of it, taking damage. I'm not, I'm not really and sure Corrin really has any... Uh, Counter stop needle camping? Yeah. You know, I, Ooh, I should stop could being be I should stop being loud because I think Tantaco can hear me and I don't want to be coaching. <laughs> so okay, so looking for that two frame there. That Oh, and these F smashes are scary. That huge gap that we once saw is actually closing now and yeah. we're seeing Tantaco adjusting. He is throwing out those needles more. But Shinoa adjusted as well. Now he's throwing out projectiles of his own and it's making it difficult for Tantaco to actually charge oh. needles. Oh, okay, sloppy 50-50, or not even a 50-50, just going for the air dodge read. And we're actually approaching, oh, the second part of that beauty show. That uh, yeah, and that's what I was talking about, just understanding that that's a thing. That's just a little bit of natural knowledge. And I think Shinoa is just uh, telling him. Yeah, Tantaku didn't expect it.